Tom's own design. He made this door himself. See anything? You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Now, Head, why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Boulder and Freya, I... Mimir? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Said, tell me Boulder's vulnerability. Boulder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here! Yes, lad? You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we'll find it. Are we looking for Brock? He's back there. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you? I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this.
No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, price it, but reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weepy. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Hey, look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Something else we can do for you? Nah, just... What else were we talking about? figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Follow me, Atreus. On my way. Oh! You're right. Now that we got the key, we can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. Did you see something out there? That tower. I see no tower. Maybe I'm seeing things. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Here's Rune. This is it. We're inside! But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Traveler, but why is the floor on the ceiling? 